Hey guys, Randy Young here, Under the Radar, here with Marion Ramsey, uh, actress from the Police Academy films. You played Laverne Hooks. Um, officer. Officer of Laverne Hooks, yes, right. forgive me. Um, such a beautiful franchise, hilarious. W what is it like being a part of such a legendary comedic franchise? Um, I'd say nothing short of amazing and a miracle. All right. <laughs> All of that good stuff. How did you originally get the role? I um, mimic Michael Jackson. Okay, I did not expect to hear that yeah. response. <laughs> yeah, I did. Um, I met him when I was in Little Shop of Horrors. Okay. And um, he came to see the show and hung out with us backstage in the show. Huh. And um, about 45 minutes. All right. And um, next thing I know, I got a call the next day yeah. about a movie and about, you know, police people that they were hiring just anyone because they needed um, uh, uh, um, there was shortage okay. and um, they needed anybody and any, any anybody Okay. and so they were taking anybody Okay. so that's how I got the movie wow yeah and so did you base the character of Hooks on, on any real life police officers or, or is that your own create creation no, the, the, in, the, in the script, it did, it did give a description. Okay. And it said that she spoke with a little voice, and I just met Michael Jackson <laughs> the night before. Wow. So I, I based the voice on him. Okay. But all the mannerisms, you know, like her little mm -hmm. things like that, the timidness. <laughs> right. I made all of that up. That's great. Don't even really help us a lot if you just back up. We won't go. I had to wear a fat suit oh. because they wanted uh, the audience to feel sorry for her. Huh. Um, huh. Because in the end, she lost weight. Okay. And they wanted to show that she lost weight in the boot camp. Okay. But they, oh, right. they never used the footage <laughs> so, of the end. Right. So that's why they kept her, you know, every, every one of those movies, I wore a fat suit. I did not know that. That's very, yeah. very interesting. Yeah. Now, it, it's a beautiful cast, hilarious cast. Um, what was it working with this great group of people? First, in the beginning, I was scared because that was my first movie. Okay. Um, I knew who Steve Gutenberg was mm. because I'd seen him in Boys from Brazil. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I kind of knew who Bubba Smith was okay. because of football. Right. And the others, I didn't know, you know, if that was their first film. Mm -hmm. or not but um, I pretty much stayed to myself mm -hmm. because I felt that I didn't know anything about making a film mm -hmm. that was my first film okay and so I thought the less they knew about me you know <laughs> then the longer I'd probably be able to stay to do the movie <laughs> okay um, and you did four of them if I'm not mistaken I did six six of them okay mm -hmm. so almost all of them yeah, except for one. Except for uh, number seven. Mission to Moscow. Yeah. Okay. Uh huh. What a mission that was. <laughs> Did you have any idea that this movie would would explode into such a huge franchise? No, 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 no one did. Hmm. In fact, Warner Brothers didn't even want to release it. Hmm. Okay. Uh, from what I understand, they wanted the right stuff to be the hit. Oh, interesting. And. Huh. Uh, it wasn't a hit, but it's a great movie. I, th oh, sure. I think the right stuff is. The right stuff is a classic, yeah. Yeah, but um, they didn't even want. They tested this to death. Mm, okay. And um, they got great response, so then they decided they they still didn't trust it. Okay. And so they decided to release it with Purple Rain. Purple. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And they thought, well, if we release it with that, then maybe we'll make some money back. Mm. And lo and behold, in two days, it made over $18 million. Nice. All right. So. Not bad. <laughs> you know, they said, oh, we're going to do another one now. You know, <laughs> so. And, and over the years, did you like, did you fine tune the, the role of hooks? Did you add to it along the way? Or was it always pretty much the same low, low sp spoken person? Well, she was pretty much the same because the thing is that um, that's the character that, um, 
I think all of our characters were pretty much the same. Yeah. Okay. You know, Callahan was still the same. <laughs> that stern, <laughs> right. you know, uh, you know yeah, that, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and all of that. Steve was still, all of us were pretty much the same. Yeah. The only thing that changed was when they added new characters, mm -hmm. like right. Sweet Chuck. Yeah, and that was back in training. That was number three, I believe. Well, honey, you know better than I know. Well, no, no, he was in two, but he became an officer in th in part three. Okay. Yeah. And then, and then you had a uh, um, uh, Bobcat. Yep. And so hmm. that's the only change within the script and how we reacted to them, mm -hmm. pretty much. But I, I'd say she was pretty, pretty steady. Okay. Like that, you that's know. That's good. I mean, he didn't, ha he didn't have her, you know. Doing pole dancing in a <laughs> strip club, right? Or right. twerking, or at the Blue Oyster Club. Oh, well, that she wouldn't have been at that. Club. That's a good point. That's a good point. She would not. That's have been a very at good that point. Club. But she could have been doing Donna Summer kind of songs Something. at that club, singing. Yeah. Could have. that, you know, I gotta say this and I'm really gonna be honest. The people of color never had a relationship in that movie. Well you had you, Bubba. No, we never had a relationship. Uh-huh. Like a boyfriend or Oh. You yeah. know, romance. That's a good uh you didn't, Bubba didn't And neither did Michael. Michael didn't have any Okay. But everybody else did. So you would have wanted a love interest? Well yeah. Okay. <laughs> People of color need love interest too. I think Gutenberg was the only one who had a love interest in the movie, and then and Tackleberry, no, Tackleberry. No, no. Yeah. Callahan. Yeah. Bobcat. Tackleberry. I. Steve. Yeah. I could go on. The list goes on. Oh, well, I feel bad now because I didn't know that, and that that's. Yeah, you should have had we a. Didn't have love. <laughs> no, no. What's your name, cadet? Thompson, sir. You live around here? No, sir. What's your telephone number, Thompson? Come on, um, eyes front telephone number. 555-2467, five, 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 sir. Okay. Let's see the thighs. Come on, come on. I haven't got all day the thighs. What in the hell are you doing? Meeting women, sir. You know, it's funny. Um, I was a, a child when the series... Um, actually, it started before I was born. But I was alive, I was around for the animated series, mm -hmm. and I actually had some of the action figures. Mm -hmm. Oh my and, god. Yeah. Uh, I don't think you were part of it. No. I, I definitely had Michael Winslow's action figure and Steve Gutenberg's action figure, but... Bubba didn't have one? He had one, yeah. And there was also a police precinct playset, but I didn't have that toy either, but I, I was very fond of those action figures. They were part of my childhood, so... You're, and then you're part of my childhood, too, so I want to thank you for that. Well, you're more than welcome. <laughs> I want a nickel for that. Oh, sure, you got it. <laughs> if I had one. So, what are you working on now? What other projects are you, can you talk about? I'm working on trying to create a comedy show All right. um, for television. Good. And um, I'm going to edit something that I shot before I left to come to this. Okay. I didn't want to edit um, before I left because it would not have, you know, it would have been rushed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I would have been, oh, I got to go, you know, oh, I got to go pack. You okay, know, yeah. That, so I wanted to wait until I finished this. Okay. Well, what's, uh, what's the, it's a TV show or? TV. Okay. What, uh, can you talk about the, the premise? Not really. Okay. Because I just shot okay. something and then I got to edit that and then send it to my people in New York and all of that. Oh, cool. All right. But it, I, I want it to be a half an hour show. Okay. And it can grow into an hour show. Okay. So it's sort of a sitcom or? No. No. It's a comedy show. Oh, oh, it's a stand-up. Well, I can't get into Okay, that. sorry. I'm just very curious about this. Oh, it's yeah. No, um, it's a comedy show. Okay, okay. And um, I must say that um, one of the pieces that I wrote, mm. it, it, it came off like, mm. Oh, good. All right. That's a good sign. And um, <laughs> even the cast told me how funny they thought it was. And Great. When we shot it, it was in a... a, a, a like a casting studio we rented out one of the studios okay and um, the receptionist and other people said oh everyone was laughing what <laughs> what they could hear all right and you know outside and they said 
we all wanted to come in and join you guys and all that. So that's a good feeling. That's a good response. Yeah. Any plans to reunite with your police academy brothers and sisters? I would love to do another one. And then, you know, probably that would be the last one. It would? For us. Yeah, I mean, it's a 30... It would be to introduce some new... It's a new generation. Because it's the 35th anniversary. So basically hand over the baton to a new generation of recruits. That'd be great. Yeah. I know that Paul, our producer, has been fighting for us. Okay. Um, uh, there There were times where um, the studio didn't want us in it. Okay. He fought. He's been fighting for years for us to be in it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And um, so he's been holding out. He could have done it without us. Right. But I think several things that he did um, that he didn't use us in failed. Okay, interesting. Like the, the cartoon. Yeah. Um, the, um, the, st- the live action series. Yeah. 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 And then when he didn't use the whole cast in Russia, the Russia movie, it, 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 it never went anywhere. Yeah. It, it went straight to video. And that was 25 years ago. Well, you know, it's like, what made you think that you could do the movie without the whole cast? Right, right, right. I'd be happy to do just one more. Yeah, that's good. Really, I would be happy to do that. <laughs> and then um, I think of the maybe we we're, we would be needed for two more. Okay. Oh, now it's two. Of, All no, right. No, the reason why is that they got to get through the training number one. Right. right. And then you got to do a follow up of that. First assignment would be the next crew. That's what I'm saying. Like we did. Okay. Well, Marion, best of luck to you. I hope there's a, an eighth installment. I hope so. Yes, and uh, thank you. So I don't have to rob a bank. Yes. I'll I'll pray for you, all right? All right, thank you so much for your time. Thank you, Randy. All right, thanks so much. Bye, everybody.